Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby and I do these talks called Messages to the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart um, pretty much every day. In fact, they have been every day for a long time, which is why we're at number 302. Uh, yeah, 302 of these, and I'll get to that in a moment. So before I start, let me introduce myself in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. Um, I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion. Pa champion. I'll try that again. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and so I do these talks every day to inspire women primarily. Although men get value from this too when they choose to listen carefully. So this is number 302 in my ongoing series of talks about messages for the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. And today's topic was inspired by a conversation with a friend of mine, and this is for her intentionally. She likes to get a chance to watch it. Put your intro and print at the bottom of your broadcast. I'm not sure if I can do that in Facebook Live. I figure I'd, I will do it as a comment, certainly. Thank you for that, Elle. I'll, I'll put that one away for see if I can do it in another way. I know it won't, won't fit the title easily, cause especially if I repurpose it elsewhere. But you got me thinking now. All right, let me get on topic. <laughs> so this is number 302, and the topic today is what to say to someone who says they want to be with you while they're being with somebody else. This one um, is, say, is for my friend in particular, but for some of you out there, this might be relevant for you as well. First of all, this is relevant to you if you prefer being in a monogamous relationship, because I have some friends of mine who like being what they call sex positive or in a polyamorous relationships, in which case this topic is pretty much irrelevant. Well, maybe irrelevant. It has power in certain points, but the point I want to make to this is for those of you who are single or are being courted by someone who wants to be with you, but the person courting you or, or, or attracted to you is either still in another relationship, hasn't, been, hasn't got divorced yet, possibly, or actually wants to be with somebody else at the same time. They're juggling this stuff around as well. So if you're in one of those three situations or any other permutation of those, you have a choice. And the choice for some people, probably not you, but for some people, is to acquiesce and go along with the invitation because you think they're special enough that you'll suffer or you put up with the fact you share them with somebody else. But that won't work. Truly won't work anyway. Again, if you want a monogamous relationship, you need monogamy. And monogamy is a very clear boundary, a definition of what you want, which means you don't share somebody sexually with somebody else, primarily. And to some degree, it may not be sharing them romantically with anybody else. Um, depending on the boundaries, for me, there's a thing about passionate kissing with somebody is a monogamous activity, as in I don't, passionately kiss somebody else and I hope they don't kiss somebody else passionately either if you make, that makes sense so that's, that's personally for me what my boundary of committed relationship energetically is is I'm not going to date somebody else or have that level of intimacy with somebody else at the same time that doesn't work so in this context I'm particularly I mean I want to give some framework first but I'm going to explain or should say offer you some um, pithy perhaps but effective responses to somebody saying I really like you and I want to go out with you, I want to be in a relationship with you. And they, and then either they tell you, and by the way, I'm seeing somebody else, or you find it from them or by doing some research saying, but aren't you seeing somebody else? Either one of those perspectives can give you these responses. So here's the thing. The way I was feeling to respond to my friend, I said it to her verbally, so I'm hoping I can remember what I said to give it to you as well, because this may benefit other people too, is... Um, first one is to be really clear and honest saying that I choose to be in a monogamous relationship with somebody and that excludes you from this conversation pure and simple that's blunt it's to the point and it's really about you which is what it's meant to be about in the first place another option which I was I mentioned or I had thought in passing which I think I wrote down let me see if I can remember what it is I did write it down so excuse me that I do a quick sneak peek um Oh, yes. This one's going to be an insulting one, but it's worthwhile. So if you want to shake somebody up who's courting you but doesn't really truly dedicate themselves to you one-on-one -on -one or 100% to you, you can say that... Um, is that what I wrote? Oh, yes. <laughs> if you can't dedicate yourself to me 100% and to me alone, you don't deserve me. How's that one for, how's that one for clear and concise? So on both of those different things I'm suggesting, one of them is to, well, actually they're both, no, one of them is more about you, or self, one's about them. But neither one are vague. And this is kind of my point about this, is 
if someone is, if a suitor is courting you, is chasing you, is looking to be with you, wants to be in relationship with you, and is pursuing you, and you don't want to be in a relationship with them because they're seeing somebody else, this is the caveat I'm putting together, then you've got to be clear that you've either got to speak up for yourself or speak clearly about what they're not doing, what they're doing that doesn't work for you. I mean, it's black and white. It's really simple. And I think I'll expand this a little bit more to put it in another context, which is really the fact that all of this mindset about speaking for yourself or about how the other person's behavior choices don't match with yours really can be used in any context of relationship, not just about monogamy and polyamory. This is about you setting firm boundaries in your love life. And if you're someone who's looking for a long, monogamous relationship or you're in a monogamous relationship and your partner does not respect that boundary, please speak up to them for yourself. I think get my point. There are enough um, affairs, for want of a better word, that have happened over the years to friends of mine, not to myself, thankfully. I've been grateful for that experience. I don't think so anyway. Um, but certainly I've had friends of mine who've had their partners cheat on them. And I've got friends of mine who cheated on their partners. So, yeah, there's that. Um, truth be told, it's kind of common practice, it seems, to a degree. Maybe just in this culture I'm seeing it. And if that's not working for you, you do not have to put up with it. Now, I know in some situations where it's a marriage and there's commitment to mingling finances and there's kids involved, it can, it's not black and white to go, okay, done, I'm walking away. But you definitely, you definitely deserve to stand up for yourself. Now, that can go one of different ways. But the point I'm attempting to make here, and hopefully getting you some insight here, is that this lesson, this opportunity, is how do you stand up for yourself in a way that is self-honoring? And that's one of the topics I'm realizing is over there that I can get to, but I'll leave that one for another day. Making yourself honoring choices, honoring and respecting who you are, whether you're single or in a relationship, is the first thing towards having a healthy relationship, period. It's a vital piece of your own um, destiny, your own expression, your own fulfillment, your own self-love. Focusing on your self-support one so that you get what you want and you stand true to yourself two so you can then be available to support somebody else in a healthy relationship because that's the other part of it too it's fundamental what i'm sharing here in these insights apart from some of these little um uh what was looking for useful comments is certainly not advanced science it's common sense but i know a lot of people out there have either forgotten about it or have um, excused bad behavior to stay in a relationship that was better than it is, is not as good as it could have been but better than it could have been without and I'm suggesting that maybe there's no um, need or better yet say this that suffering is optional make that clear so and we said all that I'll come back to the point because I want to make sure I get this, this point across again so things that can set I, want to, I just want to get through a few more if that can come up, things to say to somebody who's asking you out, who's seeing somebody else. Again, two directions. One is for yourself, and two is to highlight what they're doing doesn't match what you want. So I'll repeat them again, just have them again. One is saying simply on the, say, saying that I am clear that what I'm desiring is a monogamous, primary, single partner relationship. And if you can't bring that, then I need to go look elsewhere. Second one, is, which is more an insulting one, but it could be more fun to say, just as beyond, beyond if it's about it, is if that person is saying to you, like, I want to go, I want to go out with you in there, and you're really clear that they're seeing somebody else at the same time, you can say, if you can't dedicate yourself to me solely, solely, that was S-O-L-E-Y, not S-O-U-L-Y, then absolutely um, you don't deserve to be with me. Sorry, Rocky, what you're saying? Uh, you're a group of people so you can't watch right now, but I'll watch tonight because I'm dealing with this right now. Oh, you're welcome, Rocky. Yes. Um, these are on my Facebook walls, so you better watch them later on tonight. Absolutely. So, yes. So, go enjoy yourself and catch up later in the replay. And any comments you post, then I'll get to later as well. Um, speaking of which, let me do that piece right now. 
If you haven't seen my broadcast before, these are my daily Facebook Lives called Message for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number two, 300, 302. Wow. These all live in several places, including on Facebook, on my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author, as well as on my website, which is barryselby.com. You click on the video blog or on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Ta-da! My name everywhere. Um, on the Message of the Masculine playlist. And if you're on my website, by the way, the little offering, I have been offering for the last couple of weeks, and I'll make sure you hear about this. My gift to you, my time given to you, is my complimentary clarity conversation. It's a 30-minute conversation, my gift to you. You can sign up for it for free, that's what's complimentary. And we can have a chat for 30 minutes and get you clarity on where you want to go, what you're looking for, and if I can help you. That's simple. So go to my website, which again has the video blog where all my Facebook Lives live, as well as on the left-hand side of the menu bar is Let's Chat. And you click on that, fill out the questionnaire, set a time, and we'll talk. And with that, I think I'll leave it as it is. I've given you enough insight about this conversation about choosing monogamy and about how you can stand in that place. I invite your comments. I'd like to hear what you think about this. And also, if you know anybody who should watch this because they're dealing with this, please share it with them. Um, and your homework. Of course, this is a daily commitment is to give you homework. Is really get clear what you want. Get clear on what your value system is. And get clear if you're choosing for that or ignoring it. If you're choosing to ignore your values, we need to talk. With that, I wish you a pleasant evening, pleasant afternoon, a wonderful weekend. Although I'll be back again tomorrow because I've got to keep going. That'll be number 303. And uh, thank you for watching my broadcast. I will catch up with you tomorrow. Take care.